Made with Aloha. Local vendors will get a chance to showcase their products in the upcoming Made in Hawaii Festival, which kicks off on August 17th. Plus, they have all sorts of food, crafts, and entertainment. Over 400 vendors will be there, including Mana Comics. Chris Carvalho, the creator of Local Superheroes, joins us in studio, and he looks like a superhero. Thanks, Chris. Okay, first off, thanks for coming in. What yes. inspired you to create your comics, and how long have you been doing it? Actually, this has been a childhood dream, all of this. I was raised on Saturday morning cartoons and reading comic books like Justice League, Avengers, Teen Titans. Well, eventually I realized, you know, where are the superheroes from Hawaii? And, uh, you know, no one ever did it. Uh, well, in the early 90s, I believe Sam Campos was the first guy to do it, and he created Pineapple Man, mm -hmm. Hawaii's first superhero. When I grabbed that comic book, I was like, oh, my God, this is so awesome. And I wanted to do it. It totally inspired me. Uh, well, it took some time, but in 2014, uh, with the help of a creative team and a family and friends, I self-published Amakua, Guardians of Hawaii number one. Nice. And so talk about Amakua because you have it here. Oh, yeah. With some uh, of the characters that you have. Sure. Mono Comics is just filled with just total, like, the local diversity that we have here is just amazing. So our leader is Royal Hawaiian Guard. He's the older guy. So they go all going to call him Uncle. What's up, Uncle? <laughs> and, uh, and I also have a Samoan powerhouse, so The Rock. If you want to do this role one time, do this, <laughs> Super Size Sole. You totally can fit that. I have a West Side Warrior, Mighty Moke. Uh, I think Jason would be good with that. Jason Momoa. And uh, I have Sister Shar from Nalo. Uh, who else do I have? And, of course, the smartest guy on the team is Portuguese Man of War. And the Guardians of Hawaii, <laughs> I am assuming a lot of this is maybe based on some of your friends. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> it's actually, when you read the book itself, you'll see, oh, my God, that totally reminds me of somebody. And that's how it is. When, you're, when you live in Hawaii, you can totally relate to this book. And what's your favorite character? Well, who's, who's after you? Oh, my gosh. I'll take Mighty Moke, but he's not after me. But uh, I did live in Waianae for some time. <laughs> <laughs> How has the sales been going? And where can we find Monocomics? It's been, uh, people, the reaction to it is really positive, especially if, if you're from here. They just totally love it. You can find it online. Uh, I'll be actually, a, a different appearances will be um, Amazing Con. Mm -hmm. That will be in another couple of weeks. And if you're in the Big Island, I will be at the Hawaii Con as well. And the passion just shines through because yes. this is not your totally. full-time job, right? Uh, this no, is like... it's not. <laughs> but it's definitely the passion and the dream come true right over here. All right, awesome. And don't forget, the Made in Hawaii Festival kicks off next Friday, August 17th. runs through Sunday, August 19th at the Blaze Hill Exhibition Hall. Admission is $6. Keiki, 6 and under. Get in for free. For more information on the Made in Hawaii Festival and Mana Comics, just log on to our website at kh2.com. Superhero Chris Carvalho, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, brother. Boom. All right.